In this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, all the ingredients to your capillary action planner and also cover it with uh, plastic mulch and also plant, uh, put your tomato plant in it. First thing I want to start out with is I want to start out with some Epsom salt. Uh, it is magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is one of the 16 nutrients that your plant needs and uh, I'm just going to provide it with probably about a, a tablespoon and a half. I'm just going to sprinkle that in the hole. I'm put another one right here. Just going to ensure that your plants get enough magnesium. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this uh, Pro Mix is naturally acidic and also that I have added some pine bark mulch, we're going to need to raise the pH a little bit. So I've got some organic garden lime, it's uh, pelletized. And I'm going to put a big handful in the hole, like that. And that, that will do it for the growing season. And also, I've got my Alaska vegetable and tomato fertilizer. Uh, it's made, by, made with fish, kelp, and other natural ingredients. It's, uh, the uh, nitrogen is four. The phosphorus is six, and the potassium is six. It's a really good fertilizer for tomatoes. You know, again, you don't, you never want to go above ten with any of these numbers when you're growing tomatoes, really. So I'm gonna put a large handful in there. This like pellets, looks like rabbit food or something. I'm gonna put them in there. Make sure they all get in. Okay, now that's got that. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of soil on top. And you know, I've got a little, little crater right here, so I know exactly where my hole is. I'm going to add some soil on top. Now that's pretty good. I'm gonna make me a little bitty hole right here. And you wanna take some plastic, like white garbage bags or something like that, something that will fit over the top of this. And uh, I went and bought some at Tractor Supply the other day and it, it looked like it was white, but it was actually clear. And right now it's not a problem. You know, clear, it's gonna let sunlight through and it's gonna heat your soil up. Uh, right now with the temperatures being the way they are, you know, this is like the 10th of April. It's it's really not a factor, but in the dead of summer, it, it could get interesting. And I'll probably swap the plastic out with the uh, one that I know is white later on. But what you're going to do is you want to cut it so that it hangs over a little bit, like so. And here comes the car. Sorry for the noise. And uh, you want to, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm going to turn it a little bit. You want to start right here where this pipe is. You want to make you a hole. And you want to stretch that plastic over that where it's a real tight fit. And you want to make it go down like that. All right. Now what I've got is some elastic that you get in the sewing department at uh, Walmart and I've I went ahead and stretched it around it and I tied it in a knot and I cut it off. Uh, it's real important that you stretch it when you put it on because that way it holds tension on your plastic. This is what's going to hold the plastic in place and keep the wind from blowing it off. So I've got it completely covered now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I still got my little craters right here. I'm gonna come in here and cut me an X. On both sides. And 
And then I'm going to make me a hole right there for my finger. Make me another hole right here. And here comes the truck. I reckon everybody decided to come by while I was making the video. And I've got some little plants right here. Uh, you just want to stick it down in the hole. Hog it down real good. And you want to work that soil around so it builds up against it. And then you want to like pat it into place. Same thing here. Okay. Now, you want to add some water because it's going to be a while before the roots make their way down to the, toward the bottom of the container where the moisture is, where the soil is moist. Uh, so we got to help it out. We got to water it uh, every couple of days until it can get down there and then it'll take off. So we're going to water that real good. And then we're going to stick our level indicator in the hole like so. And it's good to go. As the plants grow I'll bend them over toward this wire mesh and um, tie it with uh, some kind of a cloth or something like that and keep it tied up and it's going to grow you know about five six feet up and then uh, it's going to want to droop over or I may provide something so it can go higher but anyway that's my video